Hi everyone, it's Christine Clemens from Keller Williams Inspire and I am your Fox Valley real estate expert. Today I'm at Riverlands Brewing Company here to talk to Fernando from Fernando Street Kitchen who is serving up some amazing Mexican street food here for the patrons of this bar. He owns his own brick and mortar store in Batavia but has gotten so popular that he now has four trailers that he takes around the Fox Valley to host both private and public events. Let's go try some of his amazing food. Well, Fernando, thank you so much for having us out to have a chat about your business. Oh, thanks for you guys coming out. Appreciate yeah, it. I'm excited to be here. Tell me about Fernando Street Kitchen. So Fernando Street Kitchen uh, has become a mobile kitchen. We pretty much set up anywhere you guys call us out to. Right here today, we're at uh, Riverlands Brewery in St. Charles, setting up out in their patio, uh, doing a fundraiser event for the Lazarus House. We're doing a bingo night tonight. So we're, we're here about once every six weeks or so. and. Uh, we have one of the trailers here with us, and this is number one of four trailers and one food truck that we actually have. That's amazing. Well, you have got, your home base is in Batavia, correct? Correct. Yep. So we're based out of Batavia. We actually have a little brick and mortar down there. We open a couple days a week okay. uh, for a full sit-down uh, restaurant experience with margaritas and, and um, Sturdy Shelter Brewery out in Batavia. We actually brewed a Fernando's beer, Mexican lager oh, for us. Fun. So we have I our own that. beer now as well. So. Oh, cool. So that's kind of cool. Uh, uh, your food is, yeah, your food, food is delicious. I've come to your brick and mortar several times and I've loved it every, every bit of it. And I feel like the word is really truly out about you. Everyone is talking, especially about your brisket. Tell me about that. The brisket, uh, it's uh, definitely, it's been a work in progress over the few years. Um, it's definitely become our top seller. We're going through about six to eight cases of brisket just for events like this on a weekly basis. Uh, it's almost come to the point where it's hard for me to actually keep up with it. It usually takes me anywhere from 20 to 24 hours to smoke a batch of brisket. Wow. So it um, definitely is time consuming, but yeah. totally worth it. Yeah, and you're available for hire for private events as well as public events where anyone can come? Correct, yep. Okay. So tonight's event is a public event open here at the brewery. So we try to trade off with a bunch of the breweries in the Tri-City areas. We try to rotate between the few. Uh, most of our events during the summer, though on the weekends, are private events. Okay. Uh, a lot of graduations we've been, you know, doing lately. Birthday parties. Um, we got weddings coming up now this fall. We've done a lot more corporate events this summer. We just did Aldi headquarters over here for a thousand people. Oh my gosh, that's so uh, many. Yeah, so it, uh, it was one of the things we actually had three of the trailers out there. To oh, that is so it. cool. So there's really no event that's too big. Not yet, at least, right? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can challenge you. We'll see, yeah. <laughs> well, that's great. So how do people book an event with you, or how do people find you so that they can come try your food? So the the main thing, I guess, is social media. Social media is definitely one of those things, I guess, it's been a curse and a blessing at the same time. Okay. Facebook has been free to, to advertise on, so I've always taken advantage of that. It's instant right away. It's easy for me to do it from my phone, whether in here or at a different location. Yeah. Uh, we do have our website, so if we wanted to book a party, we always suggest to go to our website and fill out the contact us form on that. Okay. That helps us keep track of you know, every date that we got going on, and it, it emails me directly so we can start booking parties from there. Usually we suggest doing at least four to six weeks in advance if possible. Okay. So. Well, here's us on to the exciting part. Can we go see what you've got cooking up? Let's go check it out. All right, awesome. Thanks here we guys. go. All right, so here we are. Show me around. So here's our little mobile kitchen here. So we got two flat tops. We got Blackstone flat tops here. We got our four meats that uh, we kept ready prepared. We dish out as customers come in and order. As we start running low, we just keep on replenishing. Uh, we have a nice little concession window here. This is the number four or five uh, vehicle that we have, mobile kitchens, uh, and the newest one. So. It's very good. How did you come up with the recipes that you have? So I was in the restaurant business for 20 some years. I, my parents used to own El Taco Grande. Oh, okay. So my wife and I got out of that, did hair for 15 years. I've been, I'm actually a licensed hairstylist. Oh, wow. Uh, to get out of the restaurant business, seven and a half years ago, we decided to start doing catering events on the side to raise money for an adoption. So our daughter, came we adopted her from South Carolina oh my gosh and from that point on it kind of snowballed to just one party here or there to multiple parties every week oh my word so then COVID hit which made us shut down the salon and you know we didn't know what to do with the catering part of it yeah uh, then we actually had one of the local aldermen uh, suggested doing block parties so okay. we did neighborhood block parties that allowed us to come up to somebody's house in the driveway set up neighbors could come out social distance, say hi to each other, 
you know, besides being cooked up and then get a great meal at the same time. Oh, that's incredible. So, what a wonderful story. And now you're booked out most days of the week. Yes, now we're booked out through the end of the year and even next June, graduation season. We've already got a couple of graduations next year. We've got a couple of weddings booked for next year already. So, wow. Yeah, so the, uh, again, we're, we're a little bit more weather permitting, but so for the most part, right now, all of our Saturdays are booked out through the end of October. That's so. incredible. Thanks everyone for joining us for another episode of Know Your Neighbors of the Fox Valley. I hope you enjoyed getting to know Fernando and that you will find time in your busy calendar to go give him a visit. Special thanks go out to Alessandro Madonia from Preferred Rate Mortgage. He and his team are committed to providing you with the highest quality financial services combined with the lowest rates available. Give him and his team a call for any of your home lending needs at 630-300-8706 and I will see you next time for another episode of Know Your Neighbors of the Fox Valley.